Hi guys, uh, welcome to a really quick follow-up video uh, to my previous one regarding the PWM controller. That's this one here. I just thought I'd show you anyone interested in the um, controller box that I've got with the Pi. Uh, just swapping it out. If you've not tried to do this uh, before, then it'll be a lot easier. What I've had to do, because all my connections, uh, switches, etc., were hot glued into the original plate. I've managed to prise them out uh, with a screwdriver, taking the glue off, or most of the glue off. So that is the old plate. Um, if you are interested in this, I will do a version without the uh, Pi display at the top as well. So that will be uh, attached. So that was the old uh, temperature controller. So now we have the Pi the box and like I say if you want to know about this wiring look at my previous videos <coughs> by disconnecting the old controller I'm really left with a positive uh, and a negative uh, there we go there's the negative attached to that switch that positive and negative will be going on to the positive and negative of the temperature controller there the PWM controller all of these parts switch LED, uh, the little mini display, I'm going to pop back into the top here. The controller will go here and the Pi is going to go there. So I'm going to pop those in now. So I've now finished adding in all of the switches and I've hot glued all of them in the various displays etc here. That's the main PWM controller, the Pi. So I'm just going to flip the uh, back on, bolt it on, and then fire it all up. Okay, so here we have the finished PWM controller, all in the, the Pi housing now. You can see we've got buttons as well there, which are all part of the uh, case. That's working buttons that... Uh, press the buttons on the controller. I've just popped the fan on there for the moment. I will be popping it back onto the uh, rear of the uh, Tukari TLX enclosure very shortly. Uh, we also have uh, the uh, temperature sensor. I plan to put that through the hole here and have a mount inside. So that will give a, a good temperature reading. Alternatively, I could, of course, put it th uh, through a hole in the back if I was to uh, drill a hole and just pop it through the rear. So a couple of options there. Uh, and if I just hold this, hopefully you will see the fan start to increase in speed. There we go. So working very, very well. I'll just cool it down. So a good little demonstration of how the uh, the graduated uh, speed can work. Okay, so hopefully that's helped you out uh, if you are considering using a variable uh, speed controller for your extractor fans. I'll leave some useful links in the description below. And if you like this video, please do a like and a subscribe. That would be really appreciated. And speak to you next time.